Hey everybody, thank you so much once again for clicking on this video. What we have here is a tick. Guys, it is tick season once again here on the northeast coast and we are experiencing a lot of ticks. So we were in the midst of grooming this wonderful dog Baxter who we see every five to six weeks and we noticed that he had a tick. On further inspection, we noticed that this particular tick on Baxter was dead, but he was still latched on and we could tell he was dead because of his yellow color and he just wasn't moving. One of the challenges with pulling out a dead tick is that when they die and they're still embedded in the skin, they don't come out very easily. When ticks are alive, they tend to pull out a little easier. So here I am lining up my forceps and I'm getting a good grip of the tick's head right down to the base of Baxter's skin here. And I know this is a little bit jarring and a little uncomfortable, but I did have to get this tick out of him. Here's the tick here, making sure I got the head out, which I did. You can tell just simply by looking at it, the head is still intact. So that's a good sign it wasn't left in the skin. Now I'm just inspecting the area again. I can see where the tick was latched on. It's a little bit swollen. It's a little bit of a bump, but that will quickly heal now that the tick is removed. Now I'm just saturating a cotton ball with some hydrogen peroxide and I'm just going to dab some on just to make sure that it doesn't get infected. So what we do here is whenever we pull a tick, we always put it aside and we save it and we give it back to the owner. This way they can bring the tick to the vet and get it tested for Lyme or any other diseases. We always like to give you guys a nice close up shot of it so you can see and identify what they look like. So this is Baxter clearly looking a little happier after we remove the tick and now he's ready for his grooming. Okay guys, so here we just wrapped up Baxter's grooming. Just a side note, if you do pull a tick, make sure you inform the owner of where you pulled that tick so that they can continue to keep it clean and make sure that no infections develop. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found this video helpful in any way, do us a big favor, hit the like button, and please subscribe if you're new, and we will see you in the next video.